Hi everybody and welcome to HTML document standards. Let's begin. Okay, so let's see what we need to do first. So add the document type declaration as the very first line of code at the top of the index.html file. Okay, so let's do that. Exclamation mark and then we type dot type space and HTML. Uh, let's see if I spelled that right. Doc type HTML. That is correct. So let's click on run. Perfect. And now let's continue on to the next part of the lesson. Okay, let's see. So add the opening and closing HTML tags below the document type declaration tag. Okay, so we do something like this. And we type in HTML. Let's see, like this. And we need the closing tag, of course, forward slash and then HTML. And there you go. Let's click on run. And we continue. Place the head element below the opening HTML tag. Okay, so we go up here, press enter, and we type in head. And then we add the closing. Um, closing tag so forward slash and head once again and there you go and we click on run and we continue add brown bears as the title of your web page by using the title element unfortunately you won't be able to see the title of your page in the small browser to the right uh, so we'll show you what it would look like in the next exercise okay no problem so we just go here press enter and then we create the title element and see title of course the closing tag Let's see, title, and then we type in brown bears, brown bears like this, and we are done. So let's click on run, and there you go, and let's continue. Okay, and here's an example of where the title would appear. So here, here we would say brown bear, right? So the title that we just created in the last part of the lesson. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so let's see what we need to do here. Uh, let's see. So after the first paragraph, right above the heading that says species, add a link that says learn more. Don't add the URL just yet. Okay, no problem. So right here, right above uh, the heading species, we are going to add our link. So let's see, like this. And then we type in learn more like this. Let's see, learn more and we click on run okay so far so good so we can see uh the link right here or it's not a link yet but uh it's at least <laughs> the beginning <laughs> uh, so let's add the url so that that uh, the text learn more actually becomes a link so so yeah there you go so add the following url to the link okay so we can just copy that copy and then go inside the opening tag of the anchor element and we need the uh, href uh, attribute so href uh, let's see where do we have the equal sign there you go and we paste in the url there you go and now we click on run and there you go now we have a link so if we click on that link it takes us to the um, uh, link page, the Wikipedia Wikipedia page for brown bear, right? Perfect. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. 
Uh, so in the link that reads learn more, add the target attribute and set it equal to uh, underscore blank. Okay, no problem. So we go right here and we type uh, target equal signs, the uh, double quotes, and then we type in underscore blank like this. Okay, and we click on run. And there you go. And now let's click on learn more and see what happens. And there you go. The link open, opens in a new tab. Uh, perfect. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. Let's see. So directly below the opening body tag within uh, index.html, add an anchor tag that links to index.html with a relative path. The link should say brown bear. Okay, so we go right here, click on enter, and then we type in uh, a, and then forward slash a like this and we have the anchor tags in place so now let's type in um, the link text uh, which is going to be brown bear brown bear like this and then we go inside the opening tag of the anchor element and type in uh, href uh, and then equal signs double quotes and then we type in uh, dot forward slash index.html and we are done so we can just click on run there you go perfect uh, and now uh, let's see what's next and let's see what we need to do now is under the link to index.html add an anchor tag that links to aboutme.html using a relative path. Okay, so the same thing that we just did just for uh, for another page. Uh, so the link should say uh, about me. Notice that there is also another file in the code editor aboutme.html. That is correct. So we are going to link to this file right here, right? So when we uh, create this link, and click on it uh, the um, this file will open right uh, or the page will open in the uh, in the uh, browser so so yeah so let's create that link so we go right here click on enter and again we create uh, the anchor element tags so a uh, forward slash a and then we type uh, about me right about uh, me let's see about me like this and again href uh, and we type in dot forward slash about me dot html and the link is now created there you go there you go so about me and now let's click on about me and see if um, uh, the page actually opens up right if the link you know the link works so we click on it and there you go so we are taken to the about me page or this page right here right perfect okay so let's uh, let's continue okay so let's see what we need to do here so in index.html uh, transform the image on your page into a link by wrapping the image element with an anchor element. Set the target attribute uh, so that the link opens in a new window. Uh, your image element should be a nested tag inside your anchor element. Use the same URL as before. Okay, no problem. So uh, this image, this is the image that we are going to turn into, uh, into a, a, a link. So let's find uh, let's find the uh, image in our code. So there it is, right? So this is the image that we see right here. So let's turn that image into a link. Okay. So first, what I would uh, do first is just copy that little thing right here, the the um, the code for um, the image that we see right here. So I'll just click on copy or Control C to copy the 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 
the code. And now I'm just gonna place my anchor element here first, uh, like this. Oops, like this. Uh, and now I'm gonna paste uh, the, the line of code for the image uh, inside. So control V like this. And now inside the um, opening tag of the anchor element, I will type uh, href equal signs, double quotes, and I'm going to place the URL inside of the double quotes, right? So we copy and we paste. And now the last thing we need to do uh, so that the link opens in a new uh, window uh, or a new tab, uh, I'm sorry, uh, is at the target attribute. So we type in target equal signs, double quotes, underscore, and then blank like this. And now let's click on run and see what happens when we click on the image. There you go. The link opens uh, opens in a new um, in a new tab, right? So it worked perfect. Okay, so let's continue to the next part of the lesson. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. Uh, so under the H1 element that says the brown bear, create an unordered list with the following three list items, introduction, habitat, and media. Okay, that should be pretty easy. So we go right under the H1 element that says the brown bear, and we create our unordered list uh, element like this. And now we need three list item elements, right? So we begin with the first one, so li, and like this, the second one, and the third one, oops, and there you go, and now we just copy uh, the text from here, so first uh, introduction and paste it right here, then we take or copy habitat and we paste it right here. We don't need extra space like this. And then we take copy and place it right here, right? Again, we don't need extra space. There you go. And now we click on run. And here is our unordered list, right? Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Uh, wrap the text of each list item in the unordered list uh, in an anchor element. Each anchor tag should link to the corresponding div on the page. Okay, so the um, uh, the uh, uh, introduction uh, list item uh, will link to this part part of the page. The habitat list item will link to this part of the page, and the media list item will link to this part of the page, okay? So so let's do that. So let's make sure that uh, each of these uh, items link to the corresponding um, div elements on the page or parts of the page, right? Uh, so uh, let's begin with the first one. Uh, so we go right here, we can actually just uh, copy that. And then uh, create our anchor element here. Let's see, like this, oops, like this. And we can paste the, uh, the link text inside the, uh, between the uh, tags of the anchor element. So we paste introduction uh, right in here again. Let me just fix that. There you go. Okay, and we do the same thing uh, with the next list item. So I'll just copy the text like this, remove it, create the anchor element. And there you go. And we can paste the text in between the uh, anchor element um, tags. So we paste it like this, and then we do the same thing with the media list items. So I'm just going to copy that again, remove it, and add the anchor element. And there you go. And I'm going to paste the link item text, or now the, the link text, uh, between the opening and closing tag of the anchor element. And we are 
almost done. Uh, so what we need uh, now is to actually link to the different part of the pages or to the different div elements, right? Uh, so let's do that. So inside the opening tag of each anchor element, we are going to use the or add the href attribute. So href equals signs and double quotes. And I'm just going to copy that and add the add the uh, href attribute, the other two uh, list item elements. So copy. There you go. So we add them inside the opening tag of the anchor element like this. And now let's uh, actually link to the different part of the pages. So we begin with the first one, we need the um, and the hashtag uh, symbol like this. And we type in introduction or I can I, I can just copy that from right here. Copy and I'll paste right here. And let's find the second one, which is supposed to be habitat right here. There you go. Like this, we copy that. Uh, let's see, and we add the hashtag or the hash symbol. Uh, and we paste and finally media. Uh, so there you go, media, copy, the hash symbol, and then we paste the media. Okay, so let's click on click on run and see if uh, the list items that we turn into uh, links uh, actually work. So let's begin with uh, the introduction. Okay, so far so good. Habitat, perfect, takes us down to the habitat part of the page. Uh, and then media. Perfect. So everything worked. All right. So let's continue. Okay. So let's see what we need to do here. Uh, so um, uh, use white space to make the code more readable by putting each element on its own line. Okay. And that should be pretty easy. So we can just go right here, press enter and then go right here and put the paragraph element right under the H1 element like this. And then we can just also put this on a new line like this. There you go. And, and we are done. Perfect. So let's click on continue and move on to the next part of the lesson. Okay, let's see what we need to do here. Uh, so indent the code in index.html to match the W3C standards. Okay, no problem. So we add um, two spaces uh, in front of the H1 element, one, two, and then the div element, one, two, and one, two. And the paragraph element is going to be nested inside the div element. So I'll just uh, click on backspace right now on the backspace uh, key on my keyboard and then enter and will automatically uh, be indented inside the div elements, right? Uh, okay, so let's click on run and continue to the next part of the lesson. Okay, now let's see what we need to do here. So add a comment uh, to the index.html file. Okay, that should be uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy. So let's go right here above the paragraph, uh, the first paragraph element and add our uh, comment. Uh, so let's see. And there you go. Now we have a comment, right? Okay, so let's click on run. Perfect. And let's continue to the next part of the lesson. And it looks like we are done with this uh, with this lesson. So if you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, I would really, really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Uh, if there's something that you know wasn't clear enough, feel free to ask me about it in the uh, the comment section. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Code Academy. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.